The National Primary Health Care Development Agency has said over 70% of medical drugs being dispensed in Niger are substandard. The agency added that the majority of Nigerians did not have access to health services. If made, it made this known on its website ahead of the primary health care submit tagged reimagining primary health care in Nigeria. And joining us this afternoon is Omar Layo. Awola Lola, a, pharma a pharmacist, it's good to have you join us, Omolayo Awolola. Lola. Yeah, good afternoon. Yes, good afternoon. How would you describe the quality control of relevant supervisory bodies like NAFDAQ in this regard? Well, I would like to say that um, there are several reasons why um, drug dispense in Nigeria are substandard. And one of the reasons is as a result of unregulated open drug markets, of which I know that NAFTA are working towards trying to reduce the amount of open markets in Nigeria. Of course, Rome is not built in a day, and it takes time because some of these things are spreading because they have illegal access to some of these drugs, which makes them substandard. And then NAFTA is working aimlessly to actually try to reduce this. Another issue that we have is poor cost border, first cross border monitoring and surveillance system. So the NAFTA and other agencies are also working aimlessly to ensure that some of these loopholes at the border whereby importation of drugs come into Nigeria to be able to work on these loopholes to ensure that quality drugs are being imported into Nigeria and then patients, clients, everyone have access to quality drugs. Also we try to, as pharmacists, to try to advise patients that they should get their drug from a registered pharmacy. Because when you get your drug from registered pharmacy, you are sure that you're getting a quality drug and you can also hold someone accountable. Thank you. Well, what are the ways that consumers can immediately dictate a substandard drug? Well, there are several ways in which there are some drugs whereby um, they have some scratch um, scratches on it and they have some pin on it whereby you can scratch and then send an SMS or to a toll free line whereby you can be able to know whether some of these drugs are substandard or quality or not. So those are one of the things that are being put in place. Also, research is continuous. If there is, in the, in the course of the importation of drugs into Nigeria, when quality investigations are being done on some of these drugs that are being imported and they realize that a specific batch of drugs have some similar, some similar things on their label that indicate that they are substandard. They immediately announce to the regulatory bodies like pharmacies and also announce to the public to ensure that if any of these labels are being seen on this batch of drugs, they are substandard and should not be used. So those are one of the ways in which we help. All right, just before we let okay. you go, uh, what would be your advice for consumers on precautionary measures? My advice would be that to get drugs from registered pharmacies and not, and not quack, really. Because, like I said earlier, you can hold people accountable when you get your drug from registered pharmacies. And as well, when you get your drug from registered pharmacies, you are sure that you're getting a quality drug that has been stored at the right temperature and also quality investigations are being done before these drugs are being procured and stored on the shelf to ensure to get your drugs from registered pharmacies. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.